Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, my character's gonna kind of be a dick most of the time, but he might be nice every once in a while. That's enough. You're soldiers. Act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I don't care if he made him mad. I already... I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I think I hit E to talk to people. I mean, that's kind of how he does. It happens in real life. Right along with him. Relax, Presley. But I mean, like he. I, I think the letter E. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I didn't hear you arguing, but I guess that's an option, so I'll do it. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I 
far as I can tell, I don't really know what else to do other than just go this way. It's crazy. The captain. Talk to this fucker. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So what? I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Uh... Well, yeah, of course. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Oh, what's that? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. That's it. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I don't need your help. I got this. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate. Like hell. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Do you support this? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What's this do? No, oh, I don't care about that shit. Go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Why didn't Status show report. 35? 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. Oh, this mission just got a lot more complicated. How the hell did he know 38 small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. 
Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, okay, are you so. with us? Yeah. I move faster on my own. We're not really worried about survivors. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I trust him. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beacon. Oh, yeah, whatever. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Yeah, that was inconspicuous of us just flying in here like this. What the fuck? Auto save or something? Okay, I kind of played around with this a little bit. Because I recorded it before. Fucking record. Good as shooters. I don't like playing shooters, but I oh wanted to play something I haven't played before. Even though I've seen an entire let's play of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and save because I actually got into the game. So that's gonna be it for this video, is just basically the intro.